let's build and review this awesome little police truck. Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome back to Bricks. This set has special sentimental value to me. I probably own two or three or four of these little guys over the years. I don't know why, but I kept getting them. This is set number 6632, the Tactical Patrol Truck from 1985. It has 44 pieces and one minifigure. Let's take a look at these pieces. An instruction pamphlet here, and it folds out horizontally on this side. You got some alternate builds shown here, and then the last step of the instructions. Essentially, they got like a little police car, this little police truck, alternate build, I guess, without a roof. That's interesting. This is nice, a little police stand, and this one too. Uh, you know, it's thoughtful that they think that, you know, you can do some other things with this set. This set comes with some uh, great pieces. Part of why I got it was for these classic, for these wonderful old pieces with, uh, you know, the, the warning, the yield hazard, and then, uh, you know, use the other lane. These are definitely European in style, but, uh, you know, they're great prints. They're not stickers. And they hold a lot of sentiment divide to me because I had a bunch of those. They also have some more of these uh, side pieces that are printed with police on them. Should be a pretty quick build. I'll uh, start out with the minifigure. And he has the classic police print with the nice police suit and badge and pocket. As a kid, I didn't realize how fancy this uh, suit was. I see it now. Because in a day and age when the police, uh, I'm sure, didn't have the same challenges that they have today. Again, this great piece that was common in vehicles at the time. Um, nice little, nice little uh, fender for the wheels. You know, area for the minifigure to sit and a place for the steering wheel. And helped uh, extend the chassis a little bit. So you can put it there and then it gives you a little more space on the bottom. All right, so we're gonna put one by two on the back and then some of the hook pieces, the forks, whatever you wanna call them. I'm sure there's a real name that I need to get educated on. And then they do leave a blank spot there in the middle. It's not necessary for the structure, you don't need that extra piece there. Steering wheel goes right there. Plenty of room for a minifigure. One by four on the back, one by four on the front, some one by studs in the middle, fill in that gap. Some of my favorite parts were these side studs. A lot of times you'd use them for lights and they've certainly grown to be used in more versatile ways over the years. But definitely a, definitely a staple for vehicle lights at the time. Just a simple one by two in the front. This kind of reminds me of a K truck. I was kind of looking at the size of it uh, and wondering, you know, what real use, but this is certainly K truck size, at least in my mind. Uh, I saw a K truck in town the other day and honked at the guy and uh, I think his wife laughed in a way like, oh man, there are other people out here that like these things. Um, it was an interesting sight. Love the old roof piece, roof hinge, and then the rear uh, rear support or rear window, depending on how you use it. And then, ooh, that glass is dirty. I didn't check this piece, what is that? That's gross, there's like a bug leg in there. <laughs> Always clean your brick link order. Could be worse things found in there, I guess. A little Windex on there. <laughs> I guess having a bug on a windshield is pretty, uh, pretty realistic. Okay, that's clean. So this glass is clear. Uh, and a lot of the glass, I don't know if uh, they had the blue glass at this point, um, but they chose to go with the clear one at, the, at this stage. Uh, other sets from the same era do have the blue tint. Uh, jumper here on the roof. And then on the back, these pieces. The nice police print here. I think it would be nice if there's a police print on the front too, but. At this price point, you know, this is a tiny entry level set. Uh, you really can't go wrong with those other two prints plus these printed pieces as well. And then the last set, you do a lot in the last set. We get the 
light on top, my square blue light, my great Lego translucent blue. These old wheels are fantastic. You know, they're the older ones when they're red and then they had another set that started coming out uh, with white and then they switched to the wheels that uh, snap on. But these actually have a metal axle. Again, I'd like to know the manufacturing story behind that. Was it for structural reasons? Could they not get a, a plastic stud that was strong enough at that time? Uh, it's really interesting. Legos obviously moved away from metal. Um, you know, that's another step in manufacturing and price and everything. Okay. rear wheel it's nice traffic indicator here in red I see a lot of these in white but it's nice to have one in red um, so police guy's gonna hold on to that and also get uh, the quintessential walkie-talkie it's nice that this micro set contains a walkie-talkie while that other uh, precinct cruiser that we looked at did not I think it's a good add in this one And then these great little street signs that, uh, or traffic signs that are just held up with a one by two in the bottom. Just great old prints. Uh, I'm glad to have these back in the collection as well. And there we go, a nice simple little build. I like that there's plenty of room in the back for the included signs. In fact, more room than you need. Uh, and then also you can have a good place to attach his other items here. With the forks, I think that's a good add. They didn't have to do that. You could have just shoved it in the back, but it adds a lot there uh, as far as play value and just being able to drive around. Guy fits in nicely. Have the wonderful doors that open. It just adds so much play value. You have the guy come out, leave the door open. He's walking away. He's getting in. Uh, you're not practically going to put him in that way, but just for, for visual looks, it just it adds so much to the set to have him doing that. Also with all the room in the back, plenty of other options and things you could put back there. My son was playing with another fire truck with similar tires and uh, he liked playing with it on the table more than he did on the floor because of the sound that the tires make. And uh, I can kind of relate why my, <laughs> my truck in real life has large knobby tires and it makes a sound on the road that can get a little annoying after a while. But even little details like that that I would have missed, you know, the, the mind of a child picks up and, and adores. A nice small set. I feel like it's very well rounded, very complete with the accessories included, the attachments, the space uh, on the actual truck. Fantastic, classic uh, 80s Lego style. Uh, it's well proportioned, well designed, a lot of play value even in a little set. A lot of great pieces that you can use um, across your collection as well. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see some more, play more uh, sets and reviews on the way. Follow me over on Instagram. As always, thanks for watching the video. Until next time, let's get back to bricks.